already digging a different spot. We've just turned up to an old milk bottle and a screw top. So we're optimistic for this dig and uh, it's another location again, different one again, and we'll see how we get on. Just pulled out this snap topping here with the side missing out of it, unfortunately, but still a nice little find. So we're optimistic. We have bits of cod as well. So we reckon it's going to, it's going to happen today. We're going to find that cod bottle. And this spot's looking good already. We've got a nice little meat pot out there. Very nice indeed. So things are starting to happen here. And just pulled out here a really old bike saddle frame. Now the shape of that is 1880. So really very old indeed. It's the bottom part that matches the frame that we first pulled out. So great stuff. You need to find the whole bike, Richard. Mm. Just pulled out bike sprocket. We have the saddle, saddle frame, and then we've got the sprocket as well. So we're still looking for that 18th century solid tire bike and another pot and some sundry bits of crockery there. We're digging away there, we found another meat pot and a nice old piece of jardinier. Look at that, Victorian jardinier, very nice indeed. And Rich just pulled up this lovely non-screw top milk of magnesia. Absolutely beautiful blue. That's what bottle digging is all about. If you can find that, you are absolutely on top form, which Richard must be today. You can see in there going away like a little terrier in the side. So there we are, a nice milk of magnesia non-screw top gets no better than that and just pulled out this glass tube here I don't know what that's all about if you know what it is please let us know because we ain't got a clue on that one and a neck off of something as well that's just come out down there along with the other bits and other bits we're chucking over there oh what's this one Richard got writing on it hasn't it, hasn't it? No, sir. let's have a look nice nice green color nice green colored bottle there very nice indeed but unfortunately no writing and uh, this has been it so far today milk of magnesia lovely green bottle um, HP type bottle and several of the little meat pots and also this slot over here makes a lovely picture on a beautiful morning those bottles there as well which we're going to rebury some of these because obviously uh, we don't want them in any form of collection so rebury them we will for future generations and just pulled out part of a, a ceramic laying egg that they used to put in to get chickens to lay uh, it's unfortunately not complete but a nice thing look at that Looks like a proper egg, but a bit of it. No, I don't think that's a bit of it, but there we are. Look at that. Absolutely, yes, use the F word, fantastic. And it's a lovely old piece of iron that would have held a pot over the fire we've just dug out as well. It's almost like a magnet fishing again. And just pulled out this lovely little snap top bottle here. Look at that. What a cute little thing that is. Very nice indeed. Makes a whole day worthwhile. And another one to add to Rich's collection there. So very nice. Just pulled out this lovely little green bowl here. 
very nice mate, three inches in length, very nice indeed. Put it turn of the century type ball. No rising I'm afraid, but nice. And just pulled out this lovely little one here, very nice indeed. Another small rare type chemist ball, very nice indeed. So, uh, quite pleased with that. And one of our classic finds, the old hobnail boot plate. Well, Rich is digging deep at the moment, because he's got the equipment to do it. But at the present time, he's not touching the sides. We're hoping he will in a minute, and... Uh, We'll get something out. And just pulled out this, unfortunately broken, but nonetheless a good bottle for us. And uh, Rich is going to cut it off into a, a candle holder and it says Froome Mineral Water Company Limited. And it's a classic cob bottle, but unfortunately the top broken, but that's what we do these days. Cut them off and turn them into something useful, but what a lovely bottle that would have been. A heartbreaker but still with a future life. They just got out a lovely another chemist bottle as well, so very nice as the third one we've had today. Uh, a 1950s United Dairies bottle. See it on the top there. Just faint the United Dairies fresh milk. Patterson's Camp Coffee. This colour. Old break top bottle there. Nice one. And this lovely green one here, which is very nice indeed. <laughs> 